Hey, what's up guys? So I was gonna talk a little bit today on calling your shots and what that is. This kind of stems from, um, I have a lot of conversations. If, nobody, if you don't know, my regular person job is I manage a gym. So I work with a lot of normies and when they see my videos or we talk about competition shooting, nobody really knows that much about it. And one of the big questions I always get is, well, when you're shooting that fast, how do you know if you hit the target? And I always kind of chuckle because you know, we all take mics on there. So obviously we all fuck it up, you know, in, in, at some point. Uh, but I tell them you got to call your shots. And so uh, it, it's a hugely relevant competition skill. I'm not going to claim to be an expert at it. There's people out there who know more than me. This is just me kind of jawing about it. But um, it's also definitely relevant in defensive uh, or, or combat related situations. So what it basically is, is calling your shots is when you have your front sight uh, or when you have your sight picture, the last point where you see it before you take the recoil of the shot is where your round's gonna go um, primarily. So what calling your shots is, is determining what your sight picture looked like in relation to the target you were shooting at when you take the recoil from the gun and then making the mental decision whether or not it's good enough. Um, so now obviously we all fuck this up because we all take mics, um, you know, invariably. Um, so, you know, kind of a couple quick drills. Um, I can show you uh, how to do it. So one, I'll back up here to about 15 yards. And so this drill, it's not one of mine. I saw somebody else do it. It might've been Travis Tomasi video. I can't remember who it was, but basically I'm going to shoot at distance. I'm going to take two shots. I'm going to call out where I think my hits are before I go look at the target based on what my sight picture looked like before the recoil. So I'll do that real quick. Shoot at the target that's right behind the camera here. Fuck it. We'll just go to 25 instead. It's just easier. <laughs> Calling both of those about 6 o'clock. Low A zone, high C zone. So you look pretty much what I thought, a um, little bit low in the A zone, not as, as low as I thought that it might have gone. Uh, so that's kind of one point when it comes to uh, when it comes to calling your shots. So another one um, as to why it's really relevant, and, and, and this comes from defensive scenarios or, or combat scenarios, and I've experienced a couple of different ones like that myself. So recalling your shots in competition is, is hugely relevant. So obviously I'm taking my two rounds or whatever the stage designates, two rounds, and in my mind I'm determining those were good enough, I'm moving on. And so now if we're talking about dealing with multiple adversaries um, in, in a real life situation, we kind of have to do the same thing. There's, there's sort of, I mean, there's a couple schools of thought on this. So one is that you put X amount of rounds into the first adversary, X amount of rounds into the next adversary, and then you give them any more as needed. Um, you know, so my, my buddy Ken kind of calls this, uh, you know, kind of calls it like the buffet method. So everybody gets some before anybody gets seconds. The the other way to go about it in, in multiple uh, target scenarios is to put one target all the way down before moving to the next one. Now, they both have their good and bad. Obviously, if I put some rounds into one and some into the other, there's a possibility that the rounds are not good enough hits, and so it doesn't actually have an effect on the first target. So when I transition to the next guy, this guy's totally still in the fight. The potential benefit is that if I put enough round, if I put a couple rounds into this guy and it fucks up his ability to fight, allows me to get a couple rounds into this guy, which fucks up his ability to fight, then I can do something else. Back off, get to cover, or just go back and finish them both off when they're both not at 100%. That's potentially good. Or the other side of that is if I put enough rounds in, if I put rounds in until this one guy falls and he's out, that's good from the standpoint of I take one guy totally out of the fight and I know it. But it also means that the bad part is I'm not addressing the second guy or the other guys, multiple, at all. So while I'm hammering at this guy, this guy is completely free to go about it. Um, and so I've, I've seen both of those. One different thing that makes real life scenarios a little bit different is um, we, we can and we hope that we get feedback from the target itself. But I've seen that play out in, in both kind of scenarios myself. I, I've had, uh, I've engaged a guy before at uh, probably, I don't know, 15 yards, maybe 20 yards, pretty close. And um, uh, he was moving kind of side to side, shooting at me um, with his AK real, you know, on, on auto. And uh, so I had front sight tip and I was putting round. 
round, round. And they were all good shots. I mean, honestly, I wish I would have shot faster because I took my sweet fucking time. I don't know why. I was like, bam, 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 bam. And I got through, uh, you know, about five or, or, you know, five or so rounds, maybe five to seven rounds. And nothing really happened. There was no instance of the target giving me any sort of feedback telling me that my hits were doing damage. And then all of a sudden, one round hit and the guy's weapon fell to the side and he kind of kind of stumbled around and actually fired a couple rounds into the ground. And while he was doing that, hit him again, dropped him. Um, and then he ended up still, be, that, I mean, long story, but that guy still had his weapon, so he, I still had to engage him again. Uh, but so in that scenario, just taking the feedback from the target, and I'd hit him numerous times, uh, it wasn't doing good enough. So when it comes to using the, the, the shot call method, um, you know, we've got to, we got to get that front sight tip. We got to get those good hits, but we also have to, um, in, in a real life scenario, once we call our shots and move, we also have to look at the target in question. And this is where the training aspect comes into play. Um, uh, and especially when we're talking about, you know, self-defense with handguns, I mean, handguns just suck. Um, but you know, so I kind of just thought I'd sort of bring up a, a little bit about what calling your shots was, um, and maybe a quick demo here of what it would look like if I have uh, a couple, there's two ways to do multiple targets. So I've got two silhouettes here. They're both about, I'm about five yards from the camera here. Um, so I'll do, uh, I'll do one of each. All right, so first off, um, I'll do X amount of rounds, transition, then come back, and then finish. So. All right, so a couple rounds in each, you know, three rounds in each, transition back, saw, okay, head, head. No problem there. Um, another way to do it is to put one target all the way down and then transition. And, and we'll see what that looks like a little bit, um, you know, for time here. Okay, so uh, both of those have some relevance, but I hope you guys, um, I kind of hope you take this for what it's worth as far as, um, you know, training wise. So let's kind of look at our targets here. So this is some pretty decent shooting actually. Um, but it's something that you definitely have to train. That first drill I really like a lot, uh, but it's one of those things where if you're, if you're getting into competition shooting or if you're new to shooting and stuff like that, um, don't worry, we all do it. You can't see all your hits, you know, the actual holes in all the targets. That's a completely... That's just how it works. So getting used to calling your shots and uh, and trusting your front sight, especially, but trust your sight picture, that's the big thing. But remember guys, only the hits count and you can never miss fast enough to catch back up.